Hey everyone and welcome back. This is just going to be one of those general update videos for the channel. Just a quick insight to some of the things that have been happening, some of the things which are coming up and if you stick around to the end of the video I have a really hopefully interesting reveal for people and some new content to show. So to begin I just wanted to give a big shout out to a certain person. If you've seen recently on my website you can see her as well on the YouTube channel and my Patreon page. Pretty much anywhere where I use any of the dev enabled logos. You'll notice that there's been a slight restructure to the design. It's had what I would say is a really big improvement made to the overall design. And I just wanted to say a big thank you to Val, who's helped me run through all of these changes, getting the new logo developed for me, coming up with some design sheets. We've gone through the process of looking at things like this, where we had some initial sketches from these base sketches going on to this second form over here and then settling on the final logo. So that was great fun going through all of this. I've never done anything like this before with a professional artist. If anyone would like any kind of similar work done, any design work, then just let me know. I won't share her details publicly unless that's something that we agree on. If so, you'll see her details in the description down below. But I just wanted to say that if you're watching this, a really big thank you for all of the work that you've done and making this uh, revamped logo for the channel and everything hopefully will look a little bit more cohesive and better going forward in the content that I create. On the Patreon page, the next thing I wanted to quickly mention, I've never really announced this and it's been going pretty well as it is without any official announcements, but this is something people have been finding really useful and there are now two ways if you wanted to take part in this you can so on patreon i have started offering a new tier to the patreon uh, tier rewards which is the emerald tier i've had to limit these because they do take up a little bit of time and what you get within this tier is uh, as you can see here an hour of live one-to-one -one mentoring each month so we can go through code problems, C++, Blueprint, General, getting started with the Unreal and navigating the interface, just some quick tips and tricks for speeding up workflows, anything really that you're interested in. Always reach out ahead of time though, just to make sure that I will be able to cover the content you're interested in learning. But with most people, I find that this has worked really, really well. We've had some really quick turnarounds and results with the people I've been working with. And it's always been a pleasure meeting these new people. If you wanted to potentially, if you knew ahead of time that you wanted to spend a little bit more time going a little bit more in depth into things, I do offer different packages through my website directly. Again, do come down to the contact sheet here send me a quick message to let me know what you're interested in working on it may be something i can just give you a quick response to anyway to save you a little bit of time otherwise we can just double check that these packages will work out well for you so do drop me a message if you are just generally interested in this type of thing Another thing I wanted to mention is that the course that I released a few months ago, which was initially on Udemy and through my own site directly, I've now moved over to Skillshare as well. You can still make a one-off payment if you wanted this more in-depth beginner course for learning blueprints, making your first game. It has some really good reviews and it seems to be helping a lot of people take those first steps into Unreal. Focusing on good practices, making sure that you have a tidy code base and also understanding the code and the blueprints that you're making as we go through. One thing that I did find when I released a short 2D course on Skillshare is that I had a lot of people already using the platform, already signed up and making the most out of the Skillshare platform. Upon realizing all of the really good feedback that I've been getting for the 2D topic on Skillshare that I have with them, I've moved this content over as well. So if you already have a Skillshare subscription, you can now use that I'll provide a link for this course down below. You can get the full 10 hours, uh, 92 lessons of this step of going from the very basics of installing the Epic Launcher, creating your first project, all the way up to making a physics-based rollable game with different effects, systems, widgets, different levels, things like a custom level creator that we make using a spline system. All of this is included now. You can get that on Skillshare. And like with the previous course that I released over if there, you don't already have a subscription and you wanted to try it out, I'll provide some links down below. If you use those, you'll get a certain amount of time free on Skillshare to look through all of the other content as well as taking this course that I've released here. And of course, with those links, I do get a small kickback if that's something you're interested in anyway. So you can get a couple of weeks of free content on Skillshare and you will support the channel at the same time. And finally, the big reveal. So this is something some of you may have recognized from a trailer that I dropped a few weeks ago on the channel. I kept things pretty vague as we were still working out some of the final kinks, mostly to do with the Blender exporting process 
for rigging and animations. Another person which has helped me greatly here, Thomas coming up with all of the rigging, the animations for this character. He even created the entire setup for the project and rendered everything out in Unreal. Something I wasn't expecting, didn't ask for, but very grateful for. And I think the results in that trailer turned out really, really well. You may have seen him on Discord. He goes by Thovland. Said a big thank you again though, Thomas, for all of the help here. Greatly appreciated. And what I have to show you now is this project, which I'll be sharing to everyone. You can download this immediately. Links for this will be in the description. Everything included here will be completely free and I'll be updating this as required as we go through. But what I have is kind of, I suppose, I've named it Devi. It's going to be a mascot for the channel of some sort. And it's just this very simple character. I'll go through some of the details, the ideas behind this. But it's going to come with some basic animations. So we've got a walk, run, and sprint animation. Jumping, double jumping, landing. Different air animations, so jumping up versus falling down into the air. Some wall sliding ground sliding so a big kind of slew of different animations to get you going in prototyping hopefully most types of games in the engine the big idea behind this anything you're following along with i know that i'll be able to share this to all of you and you can follow along with exactly the same assets scalings animations and so on so hopefully that will just help again make a very kind of cohesive and more structured kind of project as we're going through things so you can see here in the background, I've got the, the full kind of movement system. We've also provided a male, female variant. So they're very similar. The whole idea behind these is that I'm providing essentially a kind of blank slate. And you can see what I've done in this character is I've left most of the character blank, but I've added the dev enabled logo as a mask. And that's really the concept behind this. So what would be really cool isn't just kind of taking it and working in your projects, but if you wanted to share the, the project you're making with it, the customizations that you're adding, to the character. That would be really cool. I really look forward to seeing some of the things that you might do with Devi. So the whole idea is that we're going to be able to come in here and customize these. So the concept actually came from a toy which seems to be very much focused in the UK. A lot of people haven't known about this when I mention it, but it's something called the Money Toys. A lot of people seem to know of the similar toys, which are the Funko Pops. They're a lot less customizable. They tend to come pre-designed based on your favorite superhero or something. The idea of the monies is that you got this kind of blank slate of a toy. It was just standard white plastic sheen. And what you would do is you would take that home and implement your own designs. They had challenges to paint on, your own designs to these toys and send in pictures or whatever once you've done that so these were these real life toys you could collect some kind of custom versions as well which had been pre-designed by your favorite artist or something but the main thing is that you could easily customize these to your liking and this is where this idea came from it has also been pointed out by some people i've been working with behind the scenes that this also existed with uh, i believe a substance painter have a similar character and then as i started working with thomas on creating these see the same day in fact that we narrowed down the final design and start animating we watched the e3 announcement of blanco's block parties which is a crypto based game and they had a very very similar setup so i'm still happy to go ahead with the idea um, i know that there are some other similar concepts now but i think just that general idea of the customization of your own character you can then tweak that into your own projects as needed so if you're interested in downloading this, just a quick run through. This is going to be the project I'll be sharing with you. What I have here is you're going to be provided with the meshes. As I've mentioned, the male, female variant and the uh, the mask, if you wanted to use that. It's just a quick example because there will be one simple override that you need to make due to the, the, uh, the exporting process with Blender. We had to choose the kind of least offensive issues that uh, gets provided when you're doing the blender to unreal process and what we settled on rather than having missing bones or having things scaled and rotated out of place we have the, the bone sockets which will be scaled by a hundred times so the, the way that i found easiest to use this is i've created a socket which i've attached to the head point scaled this down to the relative size of 0 0.01 given this a rotation and location to match ideally. But this now means that as long as everything else is exported from Blender in the same location as this mask, we now know that we can just attach the static mesh to the head socket and it should look ideal for any of these customizations that you want to make in a similar way. The idea is that you would then come in, you would add similar sockets for, I don't know, backpacks or leg pieces, accessories for the arms. You can completely retexture this. So you can, of course, go into the UV maps here and I've tried providing those in as ideal a way that you can then paint onto the UV maps and completely texture this character as you see fit. So that's a general idea. And like I've mentioned, a selection of animations with a working animation blueprint. So you can see how to get this kind of general 
uh, moving character into your project. And if you're interested in improving this, something that I'll be creating and releasing very, very shortly is a third person platformer tutorial series. So it's going to be using this Devi mascot. And what I'll be doing is showing how we can really make a, a good feeling third person platforming character. Uh, which will mean that things like this, uh, the reason this wall slide doesn't work very well is the default double jump and things like that are quite limited if you're only using it as it's implemented by default on the character movement system. So in this playlist, we'll be seeing how we can expand on this and make those improvements. But this is, I think, going to be a pretty good working system. Uh, we can see here just a small platform showing off the two different characters that you can work with and implement into your project. So hopefully you'll find this useful and uh, have some fun with this project. And like I've said, definitely head on over to the Discord channel if you start using this, making any updates, design some unique, cool looking characters, then I really do want to see the updates that you're making. Share those down below in the comments if you have links to those or head on over to Discord. It's going to be really cool to see what you start making with these characters and the kind of projects that you implement them into. So it's been a little while since I've made an update video, but quite a lot has been happening recently. And I've got some what I think are pretty cool projects in the works or like this one just here that I've released as of today. If you haven't already subscribed and wanted to be kept up to date with more content like this from the channel, then do be sure to subscribe now and click the notification bell to make sure that you get updates like these as they go live. As ever, a big thank you to all of my Patreons for supporting the work that I do on the channel. Big thank you to people like Val and Thomas for helping me with the logo and the mascot designs. And to everyone else, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.